So hi guys, welcome to Crazy Burger. Today I'm going to be talking about the Super Pocket from Hyper Megatech, which is obviously from the company Blaze, which make the Evercade products as well. Um, in this video, I'm going to be talking a little bit about the products um, and my thoughts on the whole idea of it. Um, if you're not really sure about it, let's have a look at the trailer before I get stuck into my thoughts. is the super pocket um, under the hyper megatech brand which is really obviously still blaze and it seems more like an Evercade product anyway this is Caribbean Beach we are at still in Disney World Florida and um, this is the last few days of our stay we'll be home and in the next four days we'll be heading home um, it's been a good stay but yeah <laughs> ready for home it's been a long one this is about day 15 or 16 or something Anyway, the Super Pocket, my opinions of this product. Um, it's kind of a string run. Honestly, I'm really interested in the Taito uh, version because it's got 17 games, some really good games, and it's quite clearly that Blaze um, can't get them onto a cart, much like the Capcom um, collection that we've got on the EXP. So this is obviously a way around them um, getting this onto some kind of device. Um, even though it's kind of loosely packaged as Hyper Megatech, it still feels pretty much like an Evercade product because you can play your Evercade carts on these pocket uh, Super Pockets as well, which obviously makes it interesting. I don't really think these are aimed at uh, people that are already on board with the EXP, the VS and all that, for example. This is probably aimed at more like a kind of more casual audience that are maybe loosely interested maybe are interested in capcom title and just collectibles and they'll maybe just pick it up and then they can maybe get them on board further still by um obviously having the evercade compatibility with playing your carts but interestingly you can't actually update the firmware on these devices so will every cart be compatible will there be issues what happens if there is issues will you just get it replaced um so that's going to be kind of fascinating i think but the whole thing seemed a bit odd to me. I thought Hyper Megatech would have been um, like f action figures, board games or something and peripherals for your, your sort of Evercade products maybe loosely based on that, based on some of the games, maybe like light guns and wireless joy pads and like t-shirts based on Earthworm Jim or something like that. But yeah, so here we have, we've got some new hardware from Hyper Megatech, which is really another Evercade product so to speak um, I guess it's their way around of getting Taito and Capcom onto a device and um, without obviously we've, they've got these issues where they can't put them on a physical cart for some reason um, okay so obviously this is the Evercade or Blaze's way of getting these onto a physical device so if they can't get them onto an Evercade product we're releasing a physical cart I mean maybe we'll see a Taito arcade collection at Christmas I don't think so I think it's quite clear that Taito, Capcom are not interested um, in giving a sort of physical cart release, they want really just a digital format which is obviously what plays are going to do here but that, basically that means that I guess everyone that doesn't want a physical cart you'll get one of these super pockets instead because um, obviously they are numbered, you've got uh, number one for Capcom and number two for Taito, I think that's the way it goes um, in the Capcom collection there's 12 games on it um, which is obviously if you've got an EXP you really don't need it um, it's really just a collectible that you probably don't need the title one looks really good there's some excellent games on there that I really like like Football Champ and Bubble Bobble New Zealand Story that sort of thing absolutely amazing games I think they're all arcade versions obviously with Capcom there's Mega Man which is most likely a NES version not sure if all the uh, games on title are arcade 
versions are not, not entirely clear at the moment. But I'm so sure we will find out. At the time of this video, these are now available for pre-order on all your re regular sort of retailers like Amazon, Funstock. Um, and sort of speaking of Funstock, you can actually order them special editions, which are like crystal clear versions of the devices, which I really don't see the point of. I mean, if you like the preferred that style, that's fair enough. But they are £10 more. Um, they're like £60 each instead of £50 each. So you want to pay £10 more just for a, a, a clear limited edition. There's 2,000 uh, units available if you're interested. But personally, I'm not really interested. I'm interested in the actual products themselves. They are quite cool. The fact that you can play your Evercade carts on them will maybe bring a whole new audience on board. Like I say, I don't really think they are for everyone that's already on board with Evercade. Maybe if you haven't already got an AXP, um, this is your chance to maybe pick up the, the Capcom Collection Super Pocket. And the fact that they are obviously pocketable, they are really quite small looking. I think it's a 2.0 inch IPS screen, which is obviously a little bit smaller than your standard Evercade 4 inch screen. Um, but it's, the quality of the screen looked quite good. Um, I think they'll be quite cool, they'll be able to put it in your pocket as I said and maybe more sort of portability than um, maybe the, the XP or the original handheld was. But it's kind of interesting but at the same time it feels like it really should be called the Evercade Super Pocket. Hyper Megatech I don't really get the point of right now. Maybe in uh, maybe a few months or a year or two it'll make more sense but right now it doesn't make sense to be under a different named banner to me. May as well just calling it Evercade. I think it's obviously caused a lot of division in this uh, community. People are a little bit, a little bit annoyed. The fact that they said they were not going to do any more hardware, and here we are, we've got more hardware. But yeah, it's under a different banner, but it's still Evercade for me. The fact that they're sort of promoting it on all their sort of websites. I know it's a sister brand, so to speak, but yeah, it still seems a little bit off. But no doubt about it, they look like nice products. Do they look a little bit, a little bit cheap? I'm not sure till we actually get one. I love collecting these little devices anyway. I've collected a lot of these uh, Anbernic devices that looks a little similar to some of them. Um, and interesting, it's got the, the four uh, shoulder buttons on the back of the device, which does look like some of the more recent Anbernic devices too. So how that will work, how the sound will, will go, will every cart work? Will it be successful? Will they bring more people on board? I see that the actual uh, limited editions or the, the fun stock stuff you can buy the originals but they're sort of throwing in three carts. Some of them are actually legacy carts like the Technos um, arcade. So the Technos original cart has been bundled with the the two super pockets. There must be quite a lot of them still lying about which is kind of interesting but they're still going to cost you a little bit more than standard. If you want to buy them, they're £50 each, or I think it's $60 each. Um, I've just really picked them up from Amazon this time and just pre-ordered them rather than have to give the money up front because sometimes that can be a little bit of a pain. Um, I think they're due out sometime in October. Um, it will be really interesting to see where they go from here and what kind of feedback they get. They look nice devices. I'm kind of intrigued to see what they look like. But anyway, that's my thoughts. Um, let me know what you guys think. Um, and thanks very much for watching our video. Catch you in the next one. Bye for now. What a lovely resort this is. Be sad to see it go, but yeah, I'll be happy to be going home soon. Because it's flipping hot. It's about 34 degrees. See you next one, guys.